Hi everyone and welcome to another shaving video. Now in this particular video I'm going to be using a bit of a mix match of products. I'm going to be using, if you can see that, that's uh, my Merca Black and Red and it's a Bakelite, the early form of plastic which is Bakelite razor and I've used it before as you can see that's why it's called Red and Black it's a deep red with some black bits in it, including on the handle, good grip on it, very lightweight. Uh, it comes in this lovely case and it also comes with that pack of Merca Super Blades, which I'm not going to use with it. That's the case, lovely little razor. Uh, undo the handle, as I say very lightweight, three piece, non-adjustable. And the blade I'm going to use is one of these Perma Sharp Super. And that's a Russian blade made in Russia. So I'm going to give that a try today. And this is one of many, many sent to me very kindly in uh, 2012 actually. And I've still got them. You see, that's how I look after things. So, we've got the Perma Sharp Blade, that goes in there, Perma Sharp Super, onto the head. And then we put the Blade Guard, or Guide, some people call it. Um, and then, see, the screw is metal, but everything else is, I think that's plastic, no, Bakelite, that's why it's all Bakelite. So, carefully screw it back like that. Let's see right there. In a minute. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's it. That's lovely. Yeah. Make sure it's sitting. And the blade on, see, it's just exposed on the edges. So, the reason I tell you this um, is if you ever get one or you've got one and then if you go to do somewhere like your ear you can easily catch it with the edge if you're not thinking or if you're doing across the, gro uh, the growth you can catch your nose so a bit of care taken on that okay decided to give this a go again today my blue <laughs> Uh, it's a meager, isn't it? A uh, meager brush, and it's softer. It's getting softer. However, if I'm using that, I've got to put two drops of tea tree oil in. Oh yeah, beautiful stuff. Oh, I tell you what, I'll just uh, just pour it into that. There we go. Just two drops, three at the most. Oh, it's a lovely smell. Very, very strong. Pure stuff, that. And today's shaving cream will be Maca Root. Excellent uh, cream, this. And look at that, like a golden, well, creamy, silky, very, very silky. I'm a big fan of this cream. If anybody suffers from sensitive skin, um, and they're using quite an aggressive razor, or if I'm using an aggressive razor for the first time normally, I'll use something like this because it's very, very good. It leaves a lovely, f even when you've, when you've shaved, you can still feel a film of silk, if you like, one way of describing it, which um, is, you know, it's fantastic when you've got a, a sharp blade rubbing against your skin. Anyway, so the tea tree oil's in. And all I do is I go with my finger, something like that, and then put that in my bowl. I've already put two or three drops. You might not be able to see a very, very little. No, you can't see it in this glass, can you? Um, of uh, tea tree oil in. The only reason for the oil, if anybody's wondering, um, 
Well, it does you good. Obviously, it does your uh, skin good. But um, this brush, because it's a ball brush, for the first the first shave, it was horrendous. The smell. As soon as you wet it, the smell. And I can still. So it's not as bad, but it's still there. It's getting less and less as you use it. So there's my cream just on the side there, and the few drops of. Uh, Oh yeah, tea tree oil. This is fantastic stuff. It takes that smell right away. So that brush is wet enough then. What I tend to do as a an idea, soak the brush in hot water and then I um take that on. I bring the brush out and sort of flick it twice and then start mixing and it generally does the trick well especially with creams there we go there see, see look at that already peaked there we go and I've just come out the shower, so I'm just going to wet my face, hot water or warm to hot water. So I'm looking forward to this. So here we go, about two days growth. Oh, that's lovely, that. Having a little massage as well. Mmm. And the, the vapours of the tea tree oil coming through. Certainly overpowering the smell of macaroot. But most importantly, overpowering the smell of that ball brush just until it wears away. Because, um, I mean, I've had ball brushes before, but that's a pure ball brush, so what do you expect? As I say, the Merca black and red, or red and black. With a uh, Perma Sharp Super Blade, brand new, non adjustable, and I'll just give you an idea of the size of it. Like that. See? Not that it's a very good thing but you know what I mean that's width just over the width of my hand non adjustable and that's very good oh before I forget somebody asked me recently um, What's the idea by puffing my cheeks out when I shave? Well, the only reason is, if you do a shave like, it's not so bad with a razor like this, but you see, it goes in, and sometimes, the, especially going against the growth, see that? It picks the skin up, it can drag, and if the blade comes off your skin and judders, it can cause a cut or a nick, or irritation, really. So it's just a gives you a better shave. That's all it is. Makes the skin contour more smooth. I mean, you don't have to do it. Everybody's different, you know. So far, so good. That's really going to work. I 
I've used the uh, I've used that razor before, as many of you will know, but I've never used the um, perma. Right. To change the battery then. God. So we're on the second pass now. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Using a Merca red and black across the growth. Aggressive razor? No, no. Um, compared to a um, well Wilkinson sort of classic, I'd say this has a slight uh, gain to the. Wilkinson sort of classic in aggressiveness. You can just feel it slightly, slightly more aggressive, you know. And for the size of this, And the weight of it, it's um, a really good uh, little razor. And the blade is superb, perma sharp, super. Russian blade, or made in Russia. So, onto the third and final pass. And you know, yet again, thanks to everybody for your support and watching the videos and your comments and kind messages and questions and it's fantastic. You know, I love it. What was once a chore has now become a hobby and an enjoyable one. So we're going against the growth now, and of course. It's so lightweight this, it's like rubbing a feather across your face that uh, don't feel, ever feel, you see it's still doing this job, doesn't matter how light or non-aggressive, Wilkinson Sword, classic, um, I think a lot of people make two basic mistakes which we've all done you know and that's first they think oh that's not very aggressive this and start pressing and that's when you start moving and juddering and cutting yourself and you think oh that's sore well it would be sore if you press it and so press no pressure is the first mistake you don't want any pressure and the second one is uh an unclean blade blade exposure not you know it's like that and leaving it like that it's got to be rinsed regular and the reason I do it under the tap is uh, it's a bit of force you know, cleans it as well, and it uses less water, and it's cleaner. Listen to that. Gradually turn, and uh, A 
really gorgeous a bit there. And then brush, very good. As I say, soaked in hot water, it's getting softer by each shave really. And it wasn't as bad as I thought in the beginning. Double chin. Hey, listen to this now. You think you've had a good shave, but listen now. Just a few bits. No pressure again. Let the blade. You pay enough for these things and let them do the work. Very nice that. Very nice. So just a quick rinse off. So, exciting bit. Lemon cologne also again sent to me. Um, so you can't buy these in this country. Um, I'm not sure if you can buy it on the internet. But uh, that's good stuff. Lemon. I wish you could smell this, you know. Smell that. Oh. Hey. Oh. <laughs> That's lovely. <laughs> You'd be thinking he's nuts as well. And to cap it off, we'll have a bit of Gillette aftershave balm today. Very, very thin, this. Very, very thin. Now, this stuff has, um, it's for sensitive skin, but it has some sort of um, alcohol or menthol in it, with some ingredients. Well, I'll try and have a look, but I haven't got glasses to see. No, it doesn't say. So it's for sensitive skin, but uh, you tend to have a bit of a tingle from it. Only slight. Oh, it's a lovely smell though. So I'll just recap. I won't keep you. Um, Merca, red and black. Um, very, very small. I'll tell you what, it's roughly the same size as the Yuma, if you've got one. Mind here, yes, the old humour. See the humour? Well, the humour is slightly smaller. So, a lot of razors are based on old models, old, you know, they're all roughly the same, copying each other as well. But this is Merca. Uh, Bakelite, the old fashioned plastic. As I said, three piece, non adjustable. Not an aggressive razor, but if you had to compare that to a Wilkinson Sword Classic, I would say this is slightly more aggressive. There's slightly more, you can feel just that slight bit of a bite, if you like, where the blade's more exposed, but it's only slight. Brand new, Perma, see that? Perma Sharp Super Blade, brand new. That's a Russian blade. Um, fantastic job. Lovely blade. Um, I would say that would be between, for me, it's personal taste, between a Wilkinson sword and what would I put it to? A persona. Wilkinson sword to a persona. Somewhere around there. Lovely blade. Look at that. Smooth as a. Then uh, use the Maca Root shaving cream. Another good product. Very, very silky. Always have a good. Lubrication with maca root is a good cream. Again, personal taste. Uh, a 
Omega Pure Ball Brush, getting less smelly by the each time it's used <laughs> and softer. Smelling of tea tree oil, beautiful. I'm glad I worked that out. Um, and of course, tea tree oil is good for you anyway. Lovely. And then to finish off, lemon cologne, and that is looks good enough to drink. And the Gillette aftershave balm, and that was the tea tree oil. See, I'm just give it a bit of. A, there we go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, I expect this mainly gentlemen. <laughs> is uh, the end of the shave so I hope you enjoyed it um, hope you know some things are useful to some people or you just enjoy watching them uh, just as friends and the chat really uh, either way thank you very much I appreciate your support and watching the videos and all the comments I get I'm very lucky and I do appreciate it so uh, take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next shaving video